At some point in your life, you have probably had the flu. But how was the flu found? And how was a vaccine made? German scientist Richard Pfeiffer isolated a small bacterium from the noses of patients with flu, naming it Bacillus influenza. During the 1918 flu pandemic, it was thought that the flu was a bacterial condition. Work got underway to make a vaccine. Progress was not fast. It was not till the 1930s that later research showed the flu was actually a virus and not a bacterial infection. With support from the U.S. Army, the first inactivated flu vaccine was developed by Thomas Francis and Jonas Salk at the University of Michigan. The vaccine was tested for safety and efficacy on the U.S. military before being licensed for wider use in 1945. Each year, the World Health Organization recommends virus strains for inclusion in flu vaccines for each hemisphere. Different vaccines are developed, targeting three or four strains of the virus predicted to be most commonly circulating in the coming flu season. Influenza is a constantly evolving virus, and immunity to a single strain through infection or vaccination does not necessarily protect against new strains that develop. We know from experience there is likely to be another flu pandemic, and we should be as well prepared as possible when it happens. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss when a video goes live. And go get your flu vaccine.